I'm Narelle Todd. And I'm Essie Susan Smith. We are the self-publishing author and marketing duo that has sold over 2 million books. But we didn't start out knowing how to sell books. Fast forward past many failed promotions and a lot of lessons learned, you will see how we went from self-publishing newbies to hitting the New York Times bestsellers list and making the USA Today bestsellers list 19 times and counting. We created the Get My Book Out There podcast to give you simple yet effective marketing strategies to increase readership and book sales so you know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, as well as some tips for staying mentally and physically well. Let's get started. And I wanted to talk to you in this podcast about a question that I get asked um, often, and that is, what is my coaching style like and why does it work? For those of you who may not be aware, I provide coaching for self-published fiction authors. I provide that within a framework of, uh, well, I call it holistic. It's Uh, We look at the business and the finances and the mindset. And when you have those things, all three in place, and, you know, you have a resilient mindset, um, you're able to bounce back, you're able to test things uh, without kind of putting pressure on yourself. If it doesn't work out, all it just means is that test didn't work. Uh, It doesn't mean anything more than that or anything personal. Once you have these three things in place, success seems to come quicker and easier. Uh, And often it's putting the the pieces together from these three components that is difficult for people. When you have somebody looking from the external, um, so say for myself as a coach, I'm able to bring my perspective as someone who's not intimately or closely involved uh, with your work. Instead, I'm able to stand back and just say, you know, have you thought of, of this or These are the pieces I see missing. Have you considered doing this or this? What if you did this before you did that? There's a certain beauty from having somebody on your side who is not invested uh, in your books themselves, but is invested in you. And I think that is probably the key thing that I hear all the time from the people I work with is that I'm actually interested in them. And it's by being interested in them and by knowing them that I know their their books, I know how they think, I know the sorts of things that they're comfortable with, and we can actually structure and frame um, how to move forward from where they are because of that kind of knowledge. So one of the things that I do uh, with clients when, when I take a new coaching client on is I'll read one of their books to get a sense of how they write what sorts of things they write about. You may or may not be surprised that you can actually tell a lot from a person by reading the story they wrote. Um, There's so much that comes through of the author in their stories that I think it's, in some ways, it's like, you know, holding a mirror uh, up to them. You get to see their ethics and, and morals and their thoughts and experiences and, you know, their viewpoint of the world. Authors' stories, I think, actually give me as a coach a an insight into who they are. So I definitely, I love to read one or two of their books to get a sense uh, of them. And then it really is just finding out what do people, you know, what does an author want to achieve? What's their goal? It's them working towards that and being compassionate, but also forth, forthright in providing honest feedback. So often people will get in their own way. And if there's not someone there to say, hey, wait a minute, um, you know, you're actually preventing your own success by doing this, or why don't you just stop and think before you make that decision? Uh, Or it could be something even as uh, guiding as to how to set yourself up in a way that will help things be manageable for you in the future. Uh, you know, I know there's been a couple of authors who I've said, look, don't write and release and then write and release. Write two books and then release the first book. That way you tend to be then a book ahead. And in that way, you're not then putting so much pressure on yourself. Yes, it means you have to wait, you know, maybe weeks or months for that first book that's just sitting there. But it sets you up and it gives you such power moving forward. And that's what this is about. If you your goal is to be in business, writing your own stories for years and years to come, because that's your passion, that's your thing, then you need to be smart and strategic in, 
in how to actually get that set up. You know, I've seen authors burn out from doing write and release, write and release, because there's so much pressure involved. And there's actually so much to do for a release. And a lot of authors forget that. And so the workload increases around a release time, most definitely, but also the adrenaline. And it actually gets quite addictive, you know, because you're, you're there and you're releasing and all that, you know, the good, the good stuff is surging through your body and you're seeing sales come in or you're not seeing sales come in. So then, you know, you've got the bad things going through your body, whichever way things go for you with a new release, there's a surge and that can get addictive. So one of the things that I suggest uh, to authors is that they actually have a think about what does what does their release schedule look like. We go through mindset and we work on mindset uh, a fair bit. Predominantly, most people have um, you know limiting beliefs around money and what they can actually achieve as an author. But there's also other limiting beliefs and actually just you know looking at at life. Where are they holding themselves back? And how does that impact on their writing? How does that impact on how they turn up for their readers? How does that impact on the way that they market or the way that they run their business? So I'm a bit of a um, a coach who um, has strong business knowledge. I've got strong marketing knowledge. And I also have very strong mindset and personality uh, work. I spent two decades working in human resources. And from that, I'm very experienced as a coach from a coaching perspective, you know, the mechanics of coaching. But really what it taught me was about people and that sometimes people can make really strange decisions. They seemingly don't make any sense to anybody else, but they make sense to that person or they just make those kind of decisions because that's what they've been doing since they were a kid. They've been conditioned uh, to make certain decisions in a certain way. And, um, and this is where the, you know, the personalities come in when you can understand how people think and what can trigger them. uh, I find that a very powerful perspective of my coaching because I'm I'm then able to adapt my approach to each person so that it is tailored to them and who they are. So I hope that this has given you some insights as to what it would be like to work with me. As I say, I'm very honest uh, with my clients but I do it in a really loving and compassionate way. I'm here for them to be a success, you know, um, but I will pull them up on something. And if I see that they're doing something that I, that I believe is creating a, um, a barrier for them to actually, let's address it. Let's bring that out in the open and let's see, you know, is that something that is actually going to benefit you? If it's not, then let's do something about it. And certainly I help during that process. It's not just kind of like, well, here's a limiting belief and then, you know, I'll let you go out into the world and you kind of have to work it out. I will work with you through that as well. Success comes in many ways. People come uh, looking for success, uh, usually with marketing tactics. But what I find is that it's the combination of business sense, marketing sense and mindset that is actually the most powerful way to actually get further in your business. It's by actually bringing those three things together. When it comes to books, my philosophy in life is as a writer, you shouldn't have to write to market. Now that does sound counterintuitive and I know a lot of other coaches actually teach that you should write to market because that's how you make money. If your goal as an author is to write your stories your way, then I believe that that is what you need to do. You aren't going to be happy writing to market, writing to something, you know, creating stories that aren't uh, your thing. And that comes through in the books. You know, I see many books and I've read many books. The characterization is quite limited or poor or shallow even. You know, the story lines aren't quite set, you know, but they meet that kind of criteria of, you know, maybe like 200 pages, maybe 40,000 words, 50,000 words. So they meet the set criteria and they're in, you know, popular genres. So you know that they're actually writing stories to meet a market. What I say to to authors that I work with is that this is not about you writing to market. This is about you writing your stories and finding the market for those stories because there is a market for them. If you create such a vivid and beautiful world 
There are people who want to know about that. And it's how we then adapt those stories to the market that helps them with the marketing. So we're still marketing to the same market uh, you know, as before, but this time it's with your stories, the way you want them told, with the rich world and the diversity of characters and, and the action and the adventure, all of those things in there the way that you want it to be done and told. And then we adapt the marketing to fit the market. So it is possible to write your stories and it is possible to sell your stories, market your stories to readers because readers respond to that authentic, the authenticness that comes through in the stories that you put out there. So have a think about that. You know, what if you were able to sell your stories the way you want them told your way? Yeah, that's so powerful. I just think it's a shame to see really good writers who aren't fulfilling a need inside to be creative, you know, to do the stories that they want to do because they believe that the only way to be successful is to follow a certain format. I believe you can be successful with your stories, being authentic with your readers, finding the readers who are there for you. It may be a little bit more difficult at the beginning, but you then get into... Um, that world, they get into it with you, they share it with their friends and so that word of mouth thing um, starts to happen. This is how it happens. And so many of the success stories that we know about have actually been writers who have written something that hasn't actually existed before. They've created new worlds. They've created new characters and new ways of looking at things. Um, there hasn't necessarily been anybody else who's done that before. And that's why the world has jumped on them and embraced them because we're looking for that. We're looking for something new and interesting um, and exciting. So this is what you can expect if you work with me. Let's market your books your way. Write a good story is the first thing, obviously. Um, if you don't write a good story, then I can't help you uh, with that. But if you write a good story, if you're interested in reaching readers who want to know more about you, if you're looking for a business that's sustainable, and if you're looking for ways for you to stay healthy, both physically and mentally, then, you know, book a call. I'd love to chat with you and, you know, just have a look at what you're doing. And if there is a way to help you, um, I'll be honest and say if there is or if there isn't. And then obviously any decision about working with me is, is up to you. So there's no pressure there whatsoever. If you have any questions, please feel free, uh, make a comment, um, send me a, a direct message. Happy to chat to you about anything. This is how I do coaching. So it's very real. It's very tailored uh, to you. And it's all centered on what it, what is it you want to do with your writing. This is what it's about, is actually you making your dream come true, whatever that dream is, whatever that dream looks like from a publishing world. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for joining us today. You know we've got way more information we want to share with you to increase your book sales. So please come and join me at facebook.com. Get my book out there.